Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. A sort of a different video today. Um, I've teamed up with the guys over at KCM Design uh, to work on a future project that they're working on, sort of to help them out. Um, I've worked with them previously. Uh, well, they actually kindly sent me over a pair of their custom side scuttles. They go in the indicators. Um, I since moved to uh, the LCI2 indicator, so I don't actually use them anymore. I've still got them, um, just don't use them. But uh, they've actually come up with a new design for some diffusers or scuttles, if you will, that go on the JCW. Uh, I'll try and put a picture up here or something like that uh, for you to see. Um, they're little angle bits that go to the left and the right of the air intake, the blocked off air intake and the air intake at the lower part of the bumper. Uh, they look really, really good. Absolutely insane looking things. Um, but there's always been a shortfall of that sort of stuff for the Coupress bumper. And that's where this project comes into play. So they reached out, wanted a Coupress. I said, look, you're welcome to use mine. So we met up in Smethwick, some industrial estates, and we had my car uh, 3D scanned. So I'm going to cut to showing you all of that in a minute. I can't go into too much detail about uh, the manufacturing side of things. There, there are certain aspects that they want to keep private. And I'm, you know, I respect that. That's fair enough. But yeah, so in today's video, there's going to be a series of videos. Today's video is the scanning side. So you'll see them setting up the car. Uh, putting on little reflective dots, that, that sort of thing. I'm not going to spoil it, but you'll you'll see in the video, uh, scanning the car, capturing it, recording it, and then previewing it on the on the large screen. So you'll see that in this video. Uh, I'll generate a playlist, and you'll see the full case and design sort of uh, design process, if you will, uh, and how they the, these sort of things are generated. And if you guys ever you know purchase these in the future, whenever they're released, if they're released, um, you know what car they. They were derived from mine, and you know if they don't fit, don't don't blame me. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, guys, I'm gonna get on with the video. So yeah, we're down in the middle of Smevic, uh, doing a 3D scan on the bumper of the Cooper S. Uh, so KCM Design have come up with front grill surrounds. Is that what you call them? Yeah, front grill surrounds for the JCW. Uh, I'd imagine they fit on the JCW body kit on a one as well, the Cooper. Yeah, they, they are close. We haven't we haven't actually scanned the data off off the Cooper One, but um, yeah. they are more or less the same shape as long as, as, long as the, the, the have the same shape. Got you. Yeah. But um, yeah, so essentially we've got these here ones. We launched them quite yeah. popular um, to the point where yeah we're quite busy with trying to get them done. But yeah. at the same time we've had loads and loads and loads of inquiries yeah. about the Cooper S because okay obviously uh, my view is they look like little turbos. Yeah, the shape of them. That's a point. I never. Um, never and a lot that. of people sort of like, you know, it's a bit more of a happy face car. Yes. Call it. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking to see if we can try and do something that'll just stick on, um, like a plastic add-on. Yeah. Um, but OEM plus look, like yeah. it's meant to be with the car. Um, that'll add on to give it that aggressive look. Yeah. Um, but obviously the first the first point is do the scan. We've done some sketching first just yeah. to see what would kind of looks nice and stuff. Yeah. Um, and now what we're going to do is we want to 3D scan it and then get an idea of what we're what what we can do. So what sort of what sort of design are you going for? Will it? How far will it well, come out? So, or? something that will fit along probably here. Yeah. Because there's so many surfaces here and there's a cut in here. Yeah. If we were just to do something like that there, it'll just look terrible. It's too too busy. Yeah, yeah. So then we have to do one whole surface that will go over this here, but have the highlights at a certain bit. Yeah. Uh, there is a line. We're gonna go in inside. It's there. We're gonna go inside there. Uh, they've got a 3D scanner uh, set up for us. Uh, we're gonna take the mini in there, try and get some shots, show you how how they do it, um, and yeah, we'll take a look at the well, the render after. Matted up. Uh, it's just normal car polish. And then as soon as it uh, dries up, we'll give it a matte finish. So yep. uh, 
3D scanner and pick it up nicely. Cool. If it's too glossy, the will bounce back and I'll get a good report on that. This is just so it can pick it up. Yeah. Scan it easier. Map surfaces are always the best for it. Okay. And then we'll put some stickers on it, marker yeah. stickers. Got you. Um, I might just go over the light as well, because yeah. anything's shiny with the light to bounce back. over just this here we went as well. Yeah. No we'll What's that? Just pol auto glim polish? Yeah, just auto glim super resin polish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something that something that sort of hardens nicely, so then you're not getting that. Yeah. You could probably use wax as well, to be honest. Yeah. And then it dry and harden on. There is this specific stuff that you can use for this. It's yeah. like a spray on stuff, but it is so hard to get off. Okay. You have to physically go and wash the car. But this does the best in the world. See what you mean. So you're not actually polishing it off. No, just let it harden on. Got yeah. you. Then it'll take a shiny. Uh, you can see it's like a scanner, like a barcode scanner kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So it'll just bounce it back. back to the and they're just reflective dots. Yeah, they just they just pick up uh, little points for it. Okay. Make it easier for it to. Yeah. These will come off quite easy because. Yeah, yeah. They're on there. Wax. I guess it's the same principle as like animation or you know yeah, characters. Yeah. So. How they use it in the film industry, That's you know, it. 3D scan and stuff. Yeah. There's some parts of it where uh, you could uh, clay model or sculpt yeah. the shape of the body kit that you want to put on, and then you 3D scan that, and then start bringing in the CAD. Okay. So then you can start actually making the mold off it, so yeah. you can start manufacturing the, the process of it. And I guess now you've got this, you can keep this, well, indefinitely, if you wanted to do other bits oh, to yeah, it. Yeah. And, the good thing about us scanning this whole bottom bit, we can do something with the bottom bit or do something with the side bits. Got you. you know, it's just all extra add-on stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if you wanted to do, these are going to be add-on stuff. Yeah. But if you wanted to take a whole bumper apart, yeah. if you wanted to replace a whole bumper with a new bumper as such, you'd have to take it all apart and then scan the whole bumper. Yeah. Uh, but there is a problem with that because obviously when you take a bumper off, yeah. it's flexible. So it might flex out of shape. Right. So, um, if okay. you want to get your clips and stuff and the yes, and things we got there. The best it's got form. its benefits of doing it on the car as opposed yeah. to taking it off.
the little body there and that. Yeah, that'll be enough to go back on there. We'll get rid of the crap and then we'll save it. And we'll go in the point out one. Well, we're going down the point out one for this third turn. So as you start to, what you'll do is you, you can literally you can surface really fast to ground this. Uh, so say you wanted to ground here, something like that. These will, so these will. You can see the sort of tolerance you're working on. I'm going to work at the, oh, point, point one will be good enough for this. Point one and not. So you can start going around there like that. If you want to do it like that. That was a quick insight as to the scanning process done behind it of, you know, how KSM Design scan the cars and sort of generate the 3D images, uh, CAD images, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned in the future. Um, they're obviously at the moment now designing the the parts. Uh, and obviously you've got to design them, uh, print off, you know, 3D print mock-ups, um, adapt, uh, redesign, that sort of thing. So I'd imagine these will probably be a, be a few months off yet. Uh, I don't exactly know, but um, yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned uh, for more videos in the future working with KSM Design. Um, you'll see... Hopefully the next one might be a prototype fitting. I'm not too sure. Um, I'd like to get a couple of videos of the design process, you know, and how they actually do it for you guys to see. You know, yeah, it's a lot of time and care that go into these. They're all handmade, made in the United Kingdom, really good quality. But guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, click like. If you want to see more videos in the future, hit subscribe. Follow about the notification bell. We'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I shall see you all in the next video.